uh, the Freedom Caucus has always been the opposition caucus and against the Democrats. And now when we are in the majority, it continues to be the opposition caucus against anything in the Republican Party. And we had not been included in the past, but we were included in the uh, health care replacement bill. I mean, we spent an hour and a half with the President of the United States, the Vice President, members of the Cabinet, talking and making compromise. And compromises were made, things were added to the bill based upon the input of the Freedom Caucus. But then at the end of the day, no, it was easier to vote no. And so I'm angry about that. I think it's time that we lead and continue not to say no on everything that takes place uh, when bills come forward in the House of Representatives. Well, so look, since the president did make those concessions to the House Freedom Caucus, what did they want? Well, there are some members, I think, that wanted um, some really strong, uh, strong, stronger parts of the repeal in the bill. But it would move too far to the right where you wouldn't get any other Republicans to support it. So it's a compromise. And I think that uh, there is nothing that could be added to the bill that the Freedom Caucus would ever vote yes on. And so uh, you know, I, got, I got the opinion that there's some members of the Freedom Caucus, they'd vote no against the Ten Commandments if it came up for a vote. And so uh, uh, I, I think it's time that the Freedom Caucus work together with other members of the Republican Party, have input, which we did with the Speaker, the President of the United States, and then at the end of the day, compromise to get something done.